Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Nicholas Light, and I'm just going to talk about a little theory that I found, um, in, or a little theory that's been going around for a while now, it's about Jason Todd being the Joker in the new Suicide Squad movie. Now, I personally, I'm not a fan of, um, this theory, considering it's going to confuse the hell out of readers if this is true, but, um, my uncle actually told me about this, so I wanted to address this theory, and, um, just, uh, break it down before I get my thoughts on it. So basically, there's a new comic that just came out for Justice League, and it shows um, Batman in his chair having godlike powers, and um, it's like smart, you know, something. I forget. It's a really smart um, chair. It's like it gives him godlike powers and knowledge of the universe. And um, the chair's asking him questions, and during one of the panels, um, he goes, "Yes, my parents were killed." Pauses, and then he goes, "Wait." what's Joker's real name, and, um, he pauses, and it cuts there, um, I did, it was just a preview I saw, now, the reason, um, this is so important, because, um, in the comics, one thing that no one has figured out is who killed Bruce Wayne's parents, so this is one thing that has never figured out, of course, it's Joe Chill, we all know it's Joe Chill, but it's never been solved, like, how he killed his parents, or, you know, it's, it's really, it's really, um, confusing, but, um, Considering that um, this is a really, really connects to everything, I'm about to go in detail here. So basically, um, how Jason Todd and Joker connect is because one, um, if you guys don't know Jason's new origin story in Day 52, Jason Todd um, was actually Joker actually created Jason Todd um, by like he set up bad things. It, it was just a big old plan that Joker had. And um, he be he wanted Batman to like get a sidekick and then kill him off just so to like crush Batman, you know. Um, and he it basically they were planning it. Basically, Joker created Jason Todd in New Fifty Two. And one of the thing that is really confusing is about how he's going to be in the movie. So basically, Jason is going to be this new Suicide Squad Joker. Suicide Squad Joker is because they're saying Jason Todd killed his parents, Jordan Bruce Wayne's parents, and um, and he's going to become the Joker because after he dies, he immediately becomes the Joker, and he kills the Joker off himself. Um, it's really confusing. I forget what else he said. Um, when he kills off the Joker, he's basically Jason Todd, and it explains why he's younger, but Jared Leto is older than Ben Affleck. Um, but it just does not make sense to me. Basically, he goes, um, that chair and the movie relate to each other, and the only reason they're doing this is because of how they want to give people, like, the comic book readers, you know, knowledge, but if, but they have, they're not going to mark it off just comic book readers, I mean... They're going to mark it off everybody. Like, everyone who doesn't read comics is going to see this movie. Um, it's really confusing. I just don't like it. It's confusing. It's, holy shit, it's just really confusing. Jason Todd being a Joker, it, for one, it doesn't make sense, because why would they confuse audiences already? This is a brand new Joker, and they're going to ruin two characters. This also goes into detail with the Batman vs. Superman show, that you let your family to die. And people say it was by the Joker, by Jason Todd. Well, apparently it's by both. Um, and the Robin symbol that says, Haha, the joke's on you, was not written by Joker. It was written by Jason Todd. And basically what it means is, like, he's not Robin. He gave Batman that suit and, you know, killed the Joker in it or whatever and became, Jason Todd became the Joker. It's just really confusing. And I don't think they're going to do this for multiple reasons, because they don't want to ruin two characters in the DC universe, because then they're going to have to explain, well, what the hell happened to Joker, and how did Jason Todd become the Joker? Um, it's really confusing, I really don't believe this theory, I really doubt it, if it happens, and it happens, but I just do not like it, um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it was pretty interesting from what my uncle had told me. It was really, really interesting considering he ribbon brought in the comics, and I had saw that preview too. But, um, I, yeah, it's just, I don't believe Jason Todd is going to be Joker considering they're going to have to do a lot of explaining to do in just one whole movie, and it's just really confusing. I don't believe it. Whether Jason Todd is actually in the universe, however, is a different story. Um, he could be the Robin that, that, was in the, was in the, um, 
um, more or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this theory. Have you heard of it? Do you like it? I don't know. I just do not. I'm not a fan of this theory. I just stopped making this quick little video since people are doing the thoughts on them. And I want to give my thoughts on this too. But it was really interesting theory. Thank you to my uncle for giving, for giving me this theory. It's probably one of the most... He's an actual, like, he knows his comic book stuff. Like, this guy knows, so... But he tells me I'm in a... Like, he knows everything. Like, you might think I'm stupid, but he he knows everything about... He knows a lot about comics. Like, he's done his research, everything. He collects comics. He doesn't even open the comics. He doesn't... He, he has rare comics that cost, like, $400 to $600. He... Trust me, he knows. He's basically like fucking Kevin Smith. But anyway, that's about it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, rain coming, subscribe to me in the slide. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, oh do it all, blow it to pieces. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, pieces, boom, man. Oh.